Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauff with the Make Man Your Home team over Remax Oceanside. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about Stephen King. He's probably the most popular person to come out of Maine, so let's do this. All right, everybody. So, hey, like I said, we're going to talk about Stephen King today. You know, if you watch this channel, we've probably mentioned Stephen King a bunch of times in a lot of our videos. Certainly feel free to check some of those out. Be sure to subscribe. We do a lot of great things about the state of Maine, people in it, real estate, uh, a lot of different cool things. And uh, certainly thank you so much for, for watching. We're going to start right off when, when he was born. He was born in 1947 and September 21st, right here in Portland. Uh, that's pretty cool. So he is a, a true Mainer. When King was two years old, though, that's unfortunately when, when his father left the family. So he was raised by a single mom. I was also raised by a single mom, so I can certainly understand that. They had a lot of financial strain, a lot of struggle. His mom raised him and his brother. When Stephen King was 11 is when she moved them up to Durham, Maine. I like Durham, Maine, actually. It's up near like Freeport, Pownall, like up in that area. It's a great place there. So when he was a kid, he apparently witnessed a good friend of his get struck by and killed by a train. He's got no memory of the event. Apparently he returned speechless from this event uh, in total shock. A lot of people think psychologically this inspired some of his stories. Nobody knows that for sure, but you know, a lot of people speculate on that. Uh, some of the schools that he attended, you know, he went to Durham uh, Elementary School, graduated from Lisbon Falls High School. He displayed some early interest in like horror comics. He studied at the University of Maine in Orono, and I think that's where he kind of started his roots in the Bangor area. Um, he actually wrote a column called called Stephen King's Garbage Truck uh, for the student newspaper up there called the uh, the main campus. Uh, he had a lot of cool like odd jobs when he was living up there. He, he worked at like a you know, gas pump attendant. He worked at like an industrial laundry. That's where he met his wife. That's pretty cool. Uh, Tabitha Spruce, they wed in 1971. It was in 1973, the year I was born. This is when his novel Carrie was accepted by publishing. This was Stephen King's fourth novel that he wrote, but it was the first one that was accepted. And so he kind of, he gave up on it apparently, threw it in the trash, and it was his wife that actually pulled it out of the trash and said, hey, you need to finish this, you need to do this. And lo and behold, it was this first novel that got uh, accepted by publishing. He actually began uh, teaching uh, high school English classes at the Hamden Academy. So this is an interesting story. He was walking down the road, it's about 4.30 in the evening, and he got struck by a van. Man. Didn't kill him, obviously. He got hurt. And that was the talk of the town for a long time, hoping that he was going to recover okay and all that stuff. Of course, he did recover, and he is certainly okay. Stephen King's lawyers and two others purchased the van for 1500 bucks, and they reportedly uh, did that to prevent it from being, you know, appearing on eBay and being auctioned off and all that kind of stuff. He later crushed it at a junkyard. Stephen King is really an amazing person, though. He's published over 50 books. He's become one of the world's most successful writers. He lives currently in Florida and in Maine. He's what we call a snowbird. He donates a ton of money to uh, communities in Maine and all over. They got a great foundation. It's called the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation, and it's one of Maine's largest charities. They just do such a great job. We love that he's part of man. He's, he seems like a really cool guy. I'd love to meet him someday. Hopefully uh, you guys like this story uh, and what and the information that we've given about Stephen King. If you've got any stories about Stephen King, put it in there. What's your favorite book by him? You know, throw it, throw it in the comments. We'd love to hear. Um, if you've gone by his house, or you have any kind of information at all, we'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below. And remember, if you make man your home, you don't have to do it alone.